Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out in the garage tonight doing a little bit of goofing around. And um, you guys know how much I like to do these uh, challenges that uh, Eli puts up over at Day at the Range. Uh, <clears throat> lots of fly swatter, fly, fly swatter challenge. The pumpkin challenge is the most recent one. Uh, I just finished up doing that uh, the other day with my Winchester 52D. But I thought I actually printed up a few too many targets. So uh, I figured I would get out here in the garage and <clears throat> I'm not one to waste uh, a good target. <laughs> so I'm going to throw my own little spin on this thing here. And uh, we are going to shoot it out here in the garage, uh, across the garage here. But I am going to shoot uh, offhand. So it's offhand at seven yards with my Game O Model 126 Super Match. And uh, <laughs> for anybody who thinks this is going to be easy, uh, I want to see you do it too. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> I have my uh, RWS R10 Match pellets, 7 green wide cutter profile pellets. I do have a uh, camera running on the target already downrange. So let's go ahead and get started. These, uh, the pumpkins, the first two rows of pumpkins are approximately 0.6 of an inch in diameter. The next row down is 0.4. The next row below that is 0.3. And then the row below that is 0.2 inches of a di er, in height. <clears throat> so very, very hard to hit <laughs> with any kind of gun. But uh, so let's go ahead and uh, see if I can do anything here. I did spend a little bit of time before I started just making sure this guy was zeroed at all. All right, looks like I got the first one. thought about this because I've been wanting to get out here and start doing some just some holding practice for bullseye or sporting rifle league coming up soon and uh, this is a, a good challenge to uh, get that started I think I got the second one Sporting Rifle League, we shoot uh, three shots each at five separate targets. <clears throat> They're a lot bigger than these, a lot bigger than these pumpkins, though. Oh, that one might be a miss. Might be a stem shot. If it's a stem shot. According to Eli, we're counting stem shots, so. If anybody's worried about me uh, sticking my fingers in here, this is a single stroke pneumatic gun, not a, uh, not a spring piston, so there's no chance of me crushing my finger or Amputating my finger inside the action there. I got that one. This game of super matches quite a nice gun. Uh, very much. Uh, along the same lines as my Walther LGR uh, actually has a better trigger uh, overall at least by pull weight right. 
know what? I'm going to take my shirt off. This is a <clears throat> standby. I'm starting to get sweaty here. Oh, it's going to be chillier out here in the garage. Let's get on to the second row here. Doing pretty good so far. That one, that one might be a stem shot, but other than that, I think the rest of them are hits. giving it a try with my Crossman Silhouette Pistol. I don't know. This uh, this might be kind of tough. Those things are tiny. All right, so I'll see. I'm on the third one there. Oh, I think that one's a miss. to get shaky. <laughs> it off and hopefully <laughs> that's the three misses in that row that's not good I think that oh I think that middle one was a miss <sighs> all right we're back on track So if you guys uh, want to give this a try, go to dayattherange.com and uh, you can download this target. He has a PDF of this up there and you can download this and print it out. And uh, it is not easy. tear through like a normal wad cutter would I couldn't see the hole so all right we're on the third one of the third row I do like the loading port on the Walther LGR better than this one, but the 
This one is not bad. Okay, let's see. Looks like a good hit. I don't know what happened on that second row. I was all over the place. Had to shake off some jitters, I guess. All right, last one in the third row. All right, I think I cleaned that third row up good. Okay, fourth row, 0.3 inches. I think I got him. <laughs> All right, here we go. That one might be a miss. Hopefully, it just cracked the edge of it. That'd be all right. Kind of felt like that one was. Was drifting off to the left there as I was squeezing. I was hoping I'd get it out before. Okay, center one in the fourth row. Looks like a good hit. <laughs> Not an easy challenge. Okay. Looks like a good hit. Much more physical challenge than uh, <laughs> shooting off a bench rest for sure. 50 yards or not. Okay, last one in the fourth row. <sighs> I think I got that was a that was a good hit there. Wow. That one felt good as I was squeezing that squeezing that one off. I knew I was right on it. Oop. Keep forgetting to close the breech on this thing. You gotta close the breech on before you close the cocking arm. All right, down to the point twos. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I have to check that one with a. We'll have to check that one with a, well, I don't have a, I don't have a gauge for 177. I only have a gauge for 22, so I don't know. We'll have to do a judgment call. Looks like it might, I haven't looked at it real close, but it looks like it might have cracked the circle. That's the, that's the key, cracking the very outer edge circle in little count. Ooh, hitting off to the left on these. I think even if I could clear 15 or 15 or 18 on this whole target, I think I'd be pretty darn, pretty darn happy, but.
Hmm. That one might be a stem hit, but that might be a little high. All right, we got two more. Can I get them? <laughs> Whew. I was thinking about doing this with my Crossman so the 753 or S or whatever it is, the single stroke Crossman that looks like a 880, but <laughs> this is uh, pretty tiring. Ooh, that's definitely a miss. That one might have to wait for another night. <laughs> Last one. Let's get. Let's make this a good one. Whew. Nope. All right. Let's uh, let me pause this camera and I will uh, set you guys up over here so we can add those scores up, count them up, and uh, I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, so I have the uh, Sky Eye camera here, and we're gonna go ahead and add this guy up. Let's see, did pretty good. So that's a good one. That's a good one. That one's definitely a stem hit right there. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a no. That's a no. That one broke. That one did hit the stem. I'm gonna count it. Eli said we count stem hits. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. And that's a good one. Did good on that roll. And that one's a good one. That one broke the plane there. That one's definitely good. That one's definitely good. That one's definitely good. Let me look here. That one's a no. That one's a no. This one broke the stem. That one's a no. That one's a no. So let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six misses. So that is a 19. There you go. All right, bring you back to the eye level camera. Alrighty, so you saw that play-by-play uh, -play play footage <laughs> with the uh, scoring. And uh, ended up with a, I think, a really good 19. That is a tough challenge. Uh, not an easy task at all. Uh, I'm too at the bottom there. I was kind of disappointed. I thought they would be, they look like they might have cracked the plane, but they did not. So I want to keep it fair and, and keep it square here. But uh, there you go. <laughs> Hard challenge. Uh, completely different uh, set of skills than shooting 50 yards off a bench rest but uh still hard nonetheless so again go to therange.com you can download this if you do do this challenge with the air rifle uh just post up down uh from in the description down below what your score was and uh if you're on youtube make a video of it and stick it up Anyway, there you go. Game O 126 Super Match. Awesome rifle. Lots of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time, have a great day.